Hey you guys, Beth Mutali here and I'm going to kick off my 2011 Halloween tutorials, actual costume tutorials, <laughs> with this one. This is a sexy Frankenstein look or a more wearable Frankenstein look. Um, this is something you should be able to accomplish with makeup you have at home. Uh, you don't need to buy anything for the Halloween store for this or um, like you don't need any face paint makeup or anything like that. Um, it's super wearable. It's something that you could wear with your costume if you want to go you know, a little bit more into the costume side without getting too crazy with it. So um, I do plan on also doing a crazier tutorial involving, you know, green all over and everything like that. But for now, this is the uh, more wearable, sexy, or wearable in general Frankenstein look. Uh, you could also make this more appropriate for a child by toning down the eyeliner, um, maybe skipping the dark lips because little kids tend to have a problem with dark lipstick. Um, and also toning down the blush on a child. So it'd be super easy to use for just about any age though. So um, let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial and then also let me know what else you guys would like to see both in either more wearable or sexy versions or in more extreme um, full face, like face painting style tutorials as well. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna try to get this done as quickly as possible so that I don't lose my light. So your first step is just to put on Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You guys all know how to do this, but just in case you guys are new first time makeup wearers just for Halloween, all you're gonna do is dab it on and then blend it out all the way up to your eyebrows. Now, if you are a first time viewer, this is your first tutorial seeing of mine, I do not have real eyebrows. Um, that is going to play a factor in this tutorial if you would like to make your eyebrows look like mine do at the end, then you're going to just find a tutorial on YouTube on how to cover your eyebrows. The easiest way to do it is with just a regular, um, just regular Elmer's stick glue. Um, but I will let you watch a tutorial on it because I can't show you how to do it because I don't have brows. Um, so I have on my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And the next thing I'm going to put on is a jumbo eye pencil in milk and mine has magically disappeared from my vanity here. So my jumbo eye pencil in milk is missing at the moment. So instead I'm going to grab um, the empty coffins under the rainbow eye primer. Um, I know I already put on a primer but this is also going to act primarily as a base because it is stickier like a base is. So we're going to pack this on a little bit thick to work as a base. Um, right now I really wish I had Pop and Lock from Mad Styles because that would be perfect. Um, but since I don't, we're just going to use this thickly on the eyelid. And then blend it up towards the eyebrow. Okay. Yep, so that should work instead. I, it's kind of a bummer that I can't find my milk pencil. It's somewhere, I'm sure. Um, so now we are going to take, uh, our first color is a white color. It's called Kiss with a Fist. You can use pretty much any white, and if you'd prefer to use a matte white, go for it. Um, I'm just using this one. Um, in this case, I'm just going to grab an e.l.f. Professional Defining Eye Brush. It's just a fluffy, slanted liner brush. Um, we're going to use this with Kiss with a Fist. You can use any white that you would like. And this is just going to go on the inner corner. I like that it has a pink sheen because I think it goes well with the greens. Um, but yeah, you can use whatever white you want. Or if you have a white with um, green duochromatic properties, that would look really good too. So this is just going on your inner corner. You know, it's not like crazy heavy or anything like that. And then we're going to move on to using the color Afternoon Delight, which is from the birthday collection from Mad Styles. Um, it is still available as an individual color, and I believe the collection is actually still available too. I recommend getting it in the collection because the whole collection is really beautiful. So the next color we're going to grab looks like this. It's like a buttery mint color almost. We're going to take that, and it's going to overlap right on over that kiss with a fist and we're gonna pull that all the way out on the lid um, it's the easiest way to do it is to just bring it all the way out this is gonna be on the entire lid when you're done I 
So it's just a really soft, sweet, buttery green color. Um, it really does just remind me of like dinner mints. And then we're going to grab the color Frankenstein. I love this, is, this color. This is probably my absolute favorite for Mad Styles and green is like my favorite colors. Um, but this is Frankenstein. And because this is a sexy Frankenstein look, I'm trying to keep this look more wearable. Um, I'll probably do something a little more extreme um, soon, involving like stitches drawn on your face and all kinds of crazy stuff. But f for now, I'm trying to keep it more wearable because I know a lot of people, um, Halloween isn't the only time of year they really dress up and um, it's already kind of a leap of faith to put on a costume and do crazy makeup as it is. So. Going all out is a little much to ask of some people. So, as you can see, this is going in the outer corner at the crease. And then we're also going to place this below the eye. To do this, you're just putting color on the tip of your brush, pressing it below the eye, and then sweeping it back and forth. What that does is help prevent fallout by pressing it on first and then doing sweeping motions. All right, John's watching Ghost Hunters if you guys hear all the screaming. So we're gonna repeat this process on the other eye. And then the next color we're gonna grab is Oogie Boogie. This is from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection and this one has green glitter. It's a matte black with green glitter and that's why I'm using it. Um, it's just really, really pretty in general. And to put this on, we're going to grab a fluffy blending brush. Um, we're just gonna put a little bit of this on the end of the brush. We don't need a lot. This is just to deepen up your outer V. So as you can see, it just gives it a little more dimension to the eye. If you want, you can bring it further over in your crease, but you don't have to. Um, like I said, this is purely to give more depth to the eye. I make really dumb faces when I put on makeup. All right, so. That is just a nice blue or blue <laughs> green look right now. The next thing we're gonna do is add in a brow highlight. I do my brow highlight with the same brush every single time. It is my Crown C407, it's a jumbo shader, shadow brush, and I always use the color Birthday Suit. If you would like to do a shimmery highlight, go for it. Or you could also use Afternoon Delight and that would actually be kind of pretty too. Actually, I might put some in. Um, so I'm gonna start off with Birthday Suit. And this just helps blend out the edges of the darker colors and it also gives you a brow highlight. But I do think I'm going to add in some afternoon delight because I feel like that would look really pretty above as well. So now I'm going to take the same fluffy brush. This is blasphemy. I never get anything else in this brush, but I'll do it for you guys. I'm going to dip a little bit of it in afternoon delight. You're going to want to make sure you tap off your excess because this brush can pick up a lot of color. And then just at the top, just start to work it in there. So there you go, there is that. Now I'm just going to do some eyeliner and mascara. Now you guys can do your eyeliner however you would like. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to put um, a very deep green on my actual waterline. This is the um, Organic Wear Physicians Formula 100% Natural or Origin Eyeliner in Black Olive Organics. Um, I got this as part of a set. I don't know if this actually comes separately from anything or what, but it's just a really deep green, almost black color. And I need to sharpen mine, of course. And then I'm going to tightline the top a little. And then, as you guys saw, I only tightline to the middle. I'm going to go ahead and take my liquid eyeliner pen that is trying to run away from me. And I'm going to go ahead and just do um, eyeliner on top with a tiny little wing.
And then we're just gonna repeat that on the other eye. So now we have a wing on both sides and I can hear a phone going off, I believe in the apartment above me, it's kinda weird. Um, so now I have my eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara. I'm just gonna use the Sephora Lash Plumping Mascara and I'm gonna curl my lashes real quick. The phone upstairs is still ringing. Whose phone rings for that long? I'm losing my daylight and it terrifies me because then I have to turn on my can't earn my light and I'm just gonna be yellow. So go ahead and put on your mascara. And for the record, if you would rather do fake, oh my god, <laughs> wow. If you would rather do, I hope this isn't your first tutorial to see of me. If you would rather do fake lashes, go for it. You can get a lot of really cool lashes around Halloween. Um, especially ones that are like geared more towards like Halloween looks. Um, you could get something that has green in it. You could just get big ones that are like large black ones. Um, you could do whatever you wanted. <sighs> I can't believe I just did that. Fortunately, it was an easy fix, but wow. So there is that. Now, no Frankenstein look would be complete without some type of dark lip. Now this is going to be kind of fun. For this, I'm going to use a black eyeliner, but I'm going to use it as a lip liner. Um, I actually have an eyeliner that I use specifically for lining my lips. Um, I don't recommend taking a product that you go back and forth between your eyes and lips with unless you're sanitizing it between each use. Um, so I just took a black eyeliner that I knew would work out and I saved it and put it with my lip stuff and it's only with my lip stuff so I know it's just for lip products. So my lips are a little bit chapped right now. Um, I put on my lip balm. I'm actually using Chinamite today but my lips are really really chapped. I'm really dehydrated right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do this anyways for the sake of the tutorial but that's why my lips are going to kind of look not as good as they should. You want to make sure that if you're using dark colors on your lips or anything like that um, moisturize really really well and exfoliate. I would exfoliate but I don't think it's gonna help my lips right now. They're they're in bad shape. If you want to overdraw your lips, um, Frankenstein usually had long thin lips almost like a Glasgow smile wide like it was pretty ridiculous um, but since this is more of a wearable sexy tutorial I'm gonna go with just lining my natural lip shape creating a strong point which is kind of more sexy making the lips look a little bit fuller on the bottom um, and then filling them in with the eyeliner Alright, so then I'm going to take this and for fun to pull in a little bit of the green, I'm going to top my lips with Oogie Boogie. You could also at this point top your lips with Frankenstein for a little bit of a different look. And what I think I'm going to do is take Oogie Boogie around the border and then right in the middle of the bottom lip pop in a little bit of the color Frankenstein. So I'm um, just taking a regular old flat shader brush. I'm going to take that color and put it all over my lips concentrate to get more towards the outer edges. And then we're going to take the color Frankenstein. I love that once I put on black lipstick, I'm automatically like five shades paler. It's ridiculous. So that just adds a little bit of green and it's a little bit of, little bit fine. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see me at this point, unfortunately. All right, so then I'm just gonna take, it is dark brown, it's by Wet n Wild. And I am going to put stitches on my eyebrows since Frankenstein 
was stitched together. It's a little bit of an easy way to add just a little bit of something different to it. Um, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. And then if you have synthetic bolts, it'd be really cool to screw them on or to glue them on. You can just use eyelash glue or liquid latex or spirit gum. Um, that's about the only things I would recommend using to attach them though off the top of my head. I'm sure there's something else. I don't know what though. Um, so I don't recommend nail glue or anything like that. Um, nail glue is very harsh to put directly on your skin, so I don't recommend that. Um, especially, I know this is going to sound crazy, but like Josh Petrolude said, do not put it on your fake eyelashes. I don't know why anyone would do that. It's incredibly dangerous. So that is pretty much our finished look. I'm going to touch up my blush a little because I did my blush earlier today. And then I'm going to take my hair down and take some pictures with you guys. I'm going to try to find something kind of spooky to put on for the pictures. But I promise nothing. I'll see what I can find. Maybe I can get John to take the pictures for me because he is in the other room sick. He's not a happy boy. He has a sinus infection. So, yeah, maybe I'll get him to take some pictures for you guys. If you guys are wondering, this is the color um, Instant Chic. It's a sheer tone, so you can build it up and make it really, really bright, or you can just keep it kind of subdued. It's up to you. Um, but like I said, I'm going to grab John and see if he'll take some pictures for me, and I will talk to you guys soon in my next Halloween tutorial. Let me know how you guys feel about this, if this is good, if this is something you guys could wear, or if this is just, like, not enough, you want more, you want crazier, you know. Um, I'm trying to su suit all audiences here with, you know, some that are more wearable and just, like, sexy, and then some that are more over the top and more costumey, if that makes any sense. So, just let me know what you guys are interested in, and I will see what I can come up with. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.